Hello, this is Mr. Pamela's Storytime Adventures. Hello, this is Storytime Adventures with Mr. Pamela. This is Storytime Adventures. Hello, this is Mr. P Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Pamela here with Storytime Adventures. Oh. Hello, this is Mr. Pamel here. I was just trying to get my, my like introduction for Storytime Adventures like just perfect because I want it just right and I'm a little worried like I don't know if I have it exactly the way I want it. I, uh, I'm a little nervous because I want it to be like just right. Do you ever get worried or like nervous about anything? Sometimes maybe. I feel like kind of we all get a little bit nervous or, or worried sometimes. You're kind of worried like, oh, is something going to happen the way you expect it? Or is something going to happen and you're nervous about it happening? I don't know. Well, it kind of has to do with our book because, you know what? There's a special day of school very soon. The 100th day of school. Can you believe it? A hundred days of school? <clears throat> blows my mind. But that's a hundred days smarter. More you know. What a great thing. Well, the book for today is about that. It is about the 100 days of school and it's actually called 100th Day Worries. <laughs> this girl here, look at that. She's looking a little nervous. Look at that. Her, her poor dog is looking a little bit nervous for her. He's like, Whoa! what are you nervous about? 100th Day Worries hmm. by Marjorie Culler, illustrated by Arthur Howard. Hmm. I wonder why she's so like nervous and upset. I mean, a hundred days of school. I mean, you're a hundred days smarter and stuff. But, well, you know what? I think we're going to find out. Hmm. Let's see. Jessica was a warrior. She worried about everything. Oh. I, I know people like that sometimes get a little nervous or upset about things. And yeah, there she is. She's thinking. She's like, oh, we're 100 days of school. Uh, what are we going to do? 100 days. Oh. <laughs> she's a little nervous there. And the dog looking a little, little nervous for her. She worried about losing her first tooth and remembering her lunch money. Mm, Got to have money for lunch. Yeah, there she is. Like, oh, I'm going to lose my tooth. Like, should I be nervous? It's going to hurt. What am I going to do? What am I going to do with tooth? How am I going to do? What am I going to do? Getting her math right. Look at that. The dog is helping her with her math homework. Wait a minute. 50 plus 50 doesn't equal 150. Luckily, she fixed it there. She corrected it. She says 100. Oh, I think maybe the dog helped there. And, oh, and missing the school bus. Oh, no, she's running. She's a little bit late. Do you ever run late sometimes? Once in a while, I'm a little bit late. Gotta run, you gotta get there, just barely on time. Mm. Oh, and there, on the bottom there, there's where the remembering the lunch money. I think that dog is kinda helping her, saying, don't oh, forget your lunch money. Oh. Well, on the 95th day of school, Jessica's teacher gave her something new to worry about. Oh no, she doesn't need more worries. <clears throat> Next Friday will be the 100th day of school, Mr. Martin said. So, I want each of you to bring in a collection of 100 things. They can be anything you want, but they should be small, like rubber bands or marbles. We will display our collections out in the hall. Ooh, it's an assignment. And there is Mr. Martin telling the class. Oh, he has it written on the board. 100th day, and telling the class, and... Ooh, I wonder what kind of things they'll bring in. Ooh. Immediately, Jessica began to worry. <gasps> oh no! She groaned to herself. What will I bring? All weekend long, Jessica thought and thought and thought. But each new idea brought new worries with it. She's pacing. She's trying to think, what would be a good idea? 100 ice cubes? No, too, too melty. Oh, 100 marshmallows? No, too sticky. 
Oh, 100 toothpicks? No, too pointy. She's crying. But there, look at that, swirling around her brain. I see the ice cubes, the marshmallows, the toothpicks, and I see a very nervous and worried Jessica. Oh no. If you had to bring in 100 things, 100 little things for the 100th day of school, what would you bring in? Hmm. Any ideas what you might bring in? Something that you could kind of use? I wonder what I would bring in. Hmm. I have an idea. Well, that Sunday night at dinner, Jessica asked her family for ideas. Well, that's a good place to start. Hmm. How about 100 yo-yos? Suggested Tom. That's dumb, said Jessica. Where would I get 100 yo-yos? Well, I don't know if that's the nicest answer, but 100 yo-yos might be kind of hard to come by. There they are. They're eating dinner. Hmm. Jessica, Tom, I think she should ask the puppy. He looks so happy wagging his tail there. He's so happy. I think I had a puppy like him when I was younger. I had a beagle. I think he looks more like a basset hound, but still very friendly puppies. Hmm. Maybe 100 lipsticks would work, said Laura. <sighs> Jessica rolled her eyes. Laura might have that many tubes of lipstick, but Jessica sure didn't. I definitely don't either. Well, we know you'll think of something, said Mom and Dad. You have until Friday. That's not a lot of time. Well, there's Laura. Oh, yeah, Laura kind of all glamorous there. She might have all that lipstick. Mom and Dad. I'm sure Mom and Dad would probably help if Jessica really needed it. On Monday, the 96th day of school, Jessica watched as Bobby gave Mr. Martin five bags of peanuts. There are 20 peanuts in each bag, Bobby explained. Great, said Mr. Martin. Oh, why didn't I think of peanuts? Jessica wondered. Look at that. There he is with his bags of peanuts. There's 20 peanuts in each, and he kind of added up. 20, another 20 is 40, another 20 is 60, another 20 is 80, and another 20 is 100. Bobby, smart fellow. On the 97th day of school, Jessica watched as Sharon piled paper clips into ten little neat stacks on Mr. Martin's desk. One hundred paper clips in all, Sharon announced. Wonderful, said Mr. Martin. How did she find so many, wondered Jessica. Look at that. All those neat stacks of paper clips. I see Mr. Martin, I see the other students in the class all piled up there. Look in tens. Ten plus ten. That'd be 20, plus 10, 30, plus 10, 40, plus 10, 50, plus 10, 60, plus 10, 70, plus 10, 80, plus 10, 90, plus 10. I'm just kidding. Is 100. Yeah, add it all up. 100 paper clips. Ooh. Sharon's pretty smart too. On the 98th day of school, Jessica watched as Ashley brought in 100 peppermints. Hmm. I, I, I ate a few, she admitted, so I, I really only have 95. But she promised to bring in five more peppermints the next day. Fantastic, said Mr. Martin. Jessica's stomach felt queasy. I think her nerves are getting to her, kind of making her a little, little upset stomach there. And, oh, there were all those peppermints. Mr. Martin there, smiling, the class. 25. Another 25 is 50. Another 25 is 75. And another 25 is 100. And it says Ashley. Great job. Well, by the time Jessica went to bed on the 99th day of school, she still hadn't thought of anything to bring. I think that's going to help her nerves and her nervousness. Look at that. Oh, no. She's a wide awake at night. She's like, what am I going to do? What am I going to bring in? How am I going to find a hundred things? I don't know what to do. I don't know a hundred different paper clips. No, my peppermints. No, I don't know. What am I going to do? And she's a little nervous. Well, her stuffed animals maybe can help kind of give her some advice. I don't think the puppy will, though, because he's looking asleep. Hmm.
What's she going to be able to think of? On Friday morning, but that's the day. On Friday morning, she sat at the breakfast table and stared at her cereal. She was probably nervous. Jessica, asked Mom, what's wrong? Oh, today is the last day to bring in 100 things for the 100th day of school, and I still haven't thought of the right thing, she said. I've only come up with stuff that's too melty or too sticky or too pointy. I'll be the only kid without anything to show, and everyone will make fun of me. <laughs> Jessica began to cry. I feel so bad for Jessica. I've gotten nervous about things, and I felt like this. <sighs> Don't worry, said Dad. I have an idea. Oh, look at that. Dad, coming to the rescue to save the day. There they are, sitting at the table there. Oh no, she's looking so sad. Mom looks like she's trying to help. Brother and sister. Dad's looking at his newspaper. But look, even the puppy looking up there saying, Oh no, what's wrong? Why is Jessica so upset? Well, Dad had the idea. He pulled open one of the kitchen drawers. Here are some ribbons, he said, giving Jessica a handful of scraps. Jessica counted three red, two green, two yellow, two purple, and one striped. That makes ten. Ten different ribbons. There's Dad looking in the kitchen drawer. And there's all those ribbons. Look at those. Oh, I like those ribbons. Pretty colors and pretty... Oh, I like the striped one, too. Mom... Oh, she's helping, too. Mom ran down to the cellar and brought back a jar. Here are some screws, she said, dumping a pile on the table. Jessica counted. Mm -hmm. Four big ones. Four small ones. One giant one. And one little tiny one. That's also ten. Four plus four plus one plus one. Mom running down to the cellar, and there's those ten screws that she got. Ooh, ten different types of ribbons, ten different types of screws. Mm -hmm. Here are some rocket-shaped erasers from my collection, said Tom. Four pink, three green, two white, and one yellow. That's also ten. Here are some beads from my necklace that broke, said Laura. Three round, four oval, two square, and one shaped like a smiling cat. I like that one, smiling cat one. Well, there they are. There's the rockets. There's the bead. I'll get some buttons from my shirt drawer, said Dad. He found five black, three brown, two white. And there they are. Oh, what's that at the bottom? Oh, I see money. Let's see what it says. Here's some loose change from my purse, said Mom. Ten pennies and ten nickels. Oh, she's getting close to a hundred. It's all different kinds of stuff, but she's getting there. I wonder what Mr. Martin's going to say. Does it need to be a hundred of the same thing? What? Here are ten barrettes I don't need anymore, said Laura. Oh, like for her hair. Oh, look at that. Willing to give those. Oh, look at that. There's only a little piggy on it. Little bow, heart, one says Laura, and look at that one with a dog. Here are some rocks from Iggy's Aquarium, said Tom. Six brown, three green, one sparkly. Sparkly rock. Look at that. I guess he has a pet iguana there. Look at that. Iggy, the iguana, grabbed some rocks. And there they are. Ooh, ten different rocks from Iggy's Aquarium. How much stuff do we have so far, asked Mom. Jessica looked at the stuff on the table. It wasn't 100 of anything, but at least she had something to show. Like, I mean, she tried. Something was better than nothing. Well, there they are. Look at them. They're all whole family, even the dog, looking, 
I see ribbons, I see screws, I see buttons, I see some change there, pennies and nickels, I see erasers, I see barrettes, I see all kinds of stuff there. That's a, wow. All of a sudden, there's the bus, said Mom. Here's a bag for your things, and don't forget your lunch. Jessica shoveled everything into the bag and ran to catch the bus. <sighs> she didn't want to be late for that bus. I mean, it's the hundredth day. That would make it worse. She's running. Run, 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 run. You're going to make it, Jessica. You can do it. All morning, Jessica thought about the stuff in the bag. She tried to remember the things her family had given her. Okay, ten, ten ribbons, ten screws, ten, ten erasers, ten beads. Ten buttons, ten pennies, ten nickels, ten barrettes, and something from Iggy's Aquarium. Oh, ten rocks. That came to 90. She needed ten more. Where could she get ten more things? Oh, no. Here came her worries again. She was almost there. She's so close. 90. But I, I see her thinking there again. She's thinking she's worrying. Poor Jessica. At lunch, Jessica found a note in her lunchbox. Oh, it was from her mom. Sweetie, we'll help you find more stuff this weekend. I'm sure Mr. Martin will understand if your collection is a little late. Don't worry. Love, Mom. Oh, and then she put X, 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 X. Oh, those are like kisses from Mom. How nice to find a nice little note like that. Oh. Don't worry, love, Mom. Suddenly, Jessica had a great idea. She smiled to herself as she waited for lunch to be over. I think she figured it out. After story hour, I wonder if it was story time adventures hour. After story hour, Mr. Martin said it was time to put their 100 things out in the hall. What did you bring, Jessica? he asked. Well, here are ten ribbons from my dad. Ten? asked Mr. Martin. And ten screws from my mom, said Jessica. The other kids came over to look. Mr. Martin's looking. Got the ribbons there. I see you're holding them out. The other kids, hmm, wondering what's going to be. But then, oh, look. Now all the kids gathered round because... They're wondering what else is going to come out of that bag. And ten erasers from my brother and ten beads from my sister, said Jessica. Pretty, said Anita. And here are ten buttons from my father and ten pennies and ten nickels from my mother and ten barrettes from my sister and ten rocks from my brother's iguana's aquarium, said Jessica. Cool, said Leslie. A -a and... And what's this, said Mr. Martin. Because I think she's up to 90. I wonder what those last 10 things are going to be. Look at all that stuff. All the different groups of 10. She was good. She was smart. But what's the last 10? And what's this, asked Mr. Martin. It's 10 kisses from my mom, said Jessica. See? I brought in a hundred things my family gave me, she said. Is that okay? Wow, said Mr. Martin. I've seen a lot of great collections for the 100th day of school, but this one... Jessica swallowed. I think she's getting a little bit nervous. I mean, she's holding up that... She got that paper there. Yep, there they are. The one, the, uh, not the 100, the 10 X's, the 10 kisses of love from mom in that love note that she wrote saying not to worry. But, Mr. Martin, I've seen a lot of great collections for the 100th day of school, but this one... This one is really special, said Mr. Martin. You've brought in 100 bits of love. Oh, because it's 100 things from everybody in the whole family. They all gave her special stuff to make up that collection of 100 things. 
100 bits of love. Look at that. All the different things. The ribbon, the screws, the erasers, the... Oh, I forget. What were those? You can see the buttons there. The thing. Oh, oh, those are the beads from the necklace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I, I recognize it because of the cat one. I like that one. Let's see. What do we got there? Oh, pennies, nickels, barrettes. Those are rocks from Iggy's cage and the X's. 100 bits of love from her family. And you know what? She was nervous before, but look at Jessica now. She looks so happy, so proud of herself. And I bet she's pretty happy that she has a great family that helped her out. Wow. 100th day worries. You know what, Jessica? You had nothing to worry about. And guess what? I have nothing to worry about either because I figured out what I'm going to do for my 100th day for my 100 things. You ready for it? 100 quick check cups, but not, not just regular. 100 stacked. I started, see, right there? Hold on. I have it all set, ready to go. It's a stack of 100, you can't see the, the bottom, but it, but this is just the top. This is the la last one. It's Well, it's right now, it's a stack of 99 quick check cups. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, last one, last one. The final, final one. Okay, I gotta be careful here. The 100th quick check cup for... I guess maybe I have another 100 days to stack again. Well, anyway, I guess I'll have to work on that. But that was my 100 days of school project for 100th day worries. No worrying. I was working on the intro before. Let me see. Okay, the, the, the outro, the end of my <clears throat> story time adventures. I'll say, okay. Um, this is Mr. Pamel's... No, no, no. This is Mr. Pamel... No. This is Mr. This is Storytime Adventures with Miss. I'll work on it. I'll figure something out. But I want to have a nice ending. Until then, you know what? For now, I'll just say goodbye. <laughs>